When I started my research, I wasn't sure whether it would lead to a solution. I felt it had to be done. All my applications to the National Health and Medical Research Council of Australia were to no avail because all the scientists said it wouldn't work. They didn't believe in what I was doing. It was done from the point of view that this has to work and we're going to make it work somehow. The device we ended up building I mean, it was described by, by a later colleague of mine as a, as a work of art. And though just before ready to implant, I had no patience. He said to me, uh, why did I want to have an operation that was delicate? You lose your life, it may not work, there was no guarantee that it worked. And I thought about all that for about a second and I said, that's okay, I don't mind. I just want to hear again. We've got to give him properly constructed tests to see if he can understand speech, because that's what everyone said was not possible. And when he did, I just simply went into the next door lab and burst into tears. Half a world away in Sweden, another pioneer, Professor Per Ingvar Branemark, had discovered that titanium integrates with living bone a phenomenon he used to begin to change the lives of those with conductive hearing loss. Barbara found a patient who had uh, uh, fixtures in his uh, jawbone because he had no teeth. And so we removed the bridge and bridge work and exposed one of those titanium fixtures to uh, the vibrating hearing aid. He could hear. With that knowledge, Professor Bronemark and Dr. Anders Chelstrom developed the earliest bone conduction hearing solution, then called Baja. In 1977, they placed the first ever hearing implant in a patient, Mona Anderson. Life has assumed greater color. It went from gray to technicolor. It's been a world of difference. Now it's like a miracle every day. I've had the implant for 18 years, and each time I put on the implant, it's like, whoa, this is wonderful. Baja has been uh, such a remarkable product for me. You feel, you know, free in, in whatever I do. It's the difference between living and having a life. It's really been an interesting sort of transformation from when he was just an infant and just sort of not making any sounds to now everything's just sort of happening all at once. What does the sheep say? Bah. With the success, I just must say I am blown away. I still have to pinch myself to say, is this really real? Mm -hmm.